Hello guys, so welcome to another video of Rhino Grasshopper tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to see a basic concept of the plugin Kangaroo. So this is like you would have seen this uh, we seen these images or you would have come through this name uh, the image which I showed in the cover. So this is this is called four point say. So this is a basic uh, concept like how the plugin works you can understand the basic things of the plugin so then you can go in detail so the concept is like uh, it is an architectural member fixed to four points okay that is like one uh, two points on high level and two points on low level we will turn those four points into anchor and find a representation for the member and reduce the tension so we uh, and we will find the typical shape of some kind of switch fabric so it's like uh, we are just connecting uh, connecting a surface between the four points then we are giving a load like um, anchor is like you know anchor right the anchor major concept is to stop we uh, like stop the ship so that the same way the points are like kind of an anchors okay so anchor is the point by which it won't be moved and just imagine when you take a piece of cloth and tie it on both the sides i mean tie it on on the four all the four sides which is which is known as anchor so the four sides won't be moved when you drop a ball something or do i say like some kind of ball in the center the cloth will go inward so the, the so the shape which is being generated after dropping a ball that is a load so typically the ball is a kind of a load when it drops into the cloth so the cloth will go down so that shape is uh, been a uh, uh, trapped or that shape is been traced which is known as ganger plugin okay this is the concept behind maybe i'll just uh, do it and show so you will get a clear idea okay so let's go into the small it, the script is so small dude you can ask your doubts in the comment section by the way and uh, we are also proud, trying to organize workshops online webinars like free webinars so that you guys can ask your doubts or like your questions about grasshopper and rhino so we can sort it out and oh we can and if you guys are okay we can all the like i'm planning to come in live so you can shoot out your questions like funny chats on Rhino and Grasshopper architectural stuffs. So it's like a lot of a lot and a lot of stuff is going to be happen. So if you like to do or like if you want this kind of stuff, please say in the comment section and give some ideas and content so that you will also follow. And we'll also follow your ideas, okay? So let's go into the script, okay? So first I'm going to choose center box. Center box, yeah. So center box. Then in the center box we need to give the value x, y, z that is length, breadth, and height. Okay, so x and y can be 10, maybe I can give z as 5. So this is a basic script, dude. Like, uh, it's like it's a basic script. So to uh, to make you understand the major concepts, that's why. So I'm just now I just need the uh, edges, okay, box. Corners. So box corners is nothing but like it gives you like it all it uh, it defines like there's like eight edges. I think yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight has been defined with a different alphabet. You can see eight values here. So you can you can select any one point. So it's like uh, okay, I, I just need four points. It is two high point and the opposite side of two low points. Okay. Uh, like I'm just going to give much so maybe I can give the A to the D1 so you can see uh, this point is being selected so it's a low point so I need this point maybe let's give with the C okay C is the low point yeah so then A B C D something like this then Maybe F and maybe H. Okay, oh sorry. 
Ah, uh, maybe I can put the F over here and just so wait a sec. So I think so. Yeah, you can see one two, one two. So two high point and two low point. Okay. So um, it's like I just draw this box to and um, you can also define like this like construct point blah 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 and you can you can create a four point in different ways. So I just been like I'm so lazy to make a script with points and I don't want to confuse you guys a lot. So that's why I use this box and I, I just uh, I just extracted the points from there. So if you want, you can like use construct point, then keep four point in different position. But I am going to do a basic one. So this, for this, this four point is totally fine. So now I'm going to use construct mesh. I construct mesh. So I'm just Connecting the construct mesh, okay. So it uh, this is a mesh like uh, so I'm just creating a mesh between the four points. So just wait, I'll just connect it and I'll just hide this count. So so this is a mesh which has been created uh, between the four points. So uh, it's like uh, it it is used to set uh, the base like. For the membrane, uh, which we are going to use, like uh, next, we are going to use uh, element. Uh, I'll just show the command uh, element cat will subdivision. So, this create a subdivision, okay? So, it is like uh, it will subdivide the mesh into higher density of meshes, mesh cell. Like in kinds of iteration, so if you don't know iteration, what is like we are going to post videos. Like iteration is a procedure for grasshopper, like it's just it's a kind of principle. So, so this is uh, simple. This will uh, divide the mesh um, into higher density, like the mesh shells. Maybe I'll just connect it and show you. So you can see it divides the mesh. So this is the one. So what I did, I'll just repeat it again if you want, so that it will give you a clear understanding. I I, I extracted the points, so then I merged all the points with the points. I just created a mesh. Oh sorry, I forgot to turn on the bifocal, which will give you the name. So here it construct a mesh. So with the mesh, I'm I'm just subdividing. So to use this player component, I need a platform. So that's why I'm just creating a mesh. Okay. So now I'm just giving okay. I'll, I'll also there are the full name. So so now I need iteration maybe a value of four or three something like that. Maybe I just give for four. So you can see the iteration is been there. Now I'm just previewing off this. Which I don't need now. Okay. So after this, uh, I'm just now I'm going to use mesh edge. So, so before like saying going into mesh edge, I'm just share the concept of why I just use it. Let's imagine these are the four points, and these four points are fixed, and I'm going to drop a load over in the center, and it's going to compress the surface, or like it is going to create a uh, inward, like it is going to push the surface inward. Just imagine if I drop a load, the first thing is like it will go on chaos, like the load is not directly transferred so it it is transferred to the edges first like the edges and it has a relation so when i use this mesh, mesh edge i can take the value of the edges like for example so the naked edge or the outside edge and the in interior edge or the inside edge okay so i'm just going to use edge actually line so you can see and when I connect this, you can see the the naked edge has been like the outer line has been selected, whereas so the interior edge has been the inner line is selected. So we are going to use this. So as I said before, the load has been like it's been transferred to a cable edge. So we are going to create a cable edge 
So to analyze the load and make the shape change, we are going to create uh, using the command length and line. I mean length, which is a kangaroo command. Length. So I'm going to use length over here, and I'm going to use some value. Before using this. So let's come and do an order wise. So I don't want to pop in in video. So first, the anchor points. So as I said before, the anchor or the anchor is a command which which won't allow the points to move. Like let's see, this is the anchor. Like all the four points are the anchor. And now I need the mesh to be show. So I don't want it. Like I just kind of I just use show. Next, I need the load. To be calculated on the edges okay so so this is a mesh one uh load is like the naked edge the load on the naked edge so let's give it as thousand because it it does it's all the it has only the four line element so i'm just giving it the strength as thousand now control c control v now, now uh i'm just using the second one for the interior edge. Interior edge, there is like you can see a lot of edges. So I just go with multiplication. So it's like we are using multiplication together with the numbers later. So it will calculate the reduced length. Like we can we can then combine everything in another length length component. Like so that's right. So I'm just using length. Uh, and maybe uh, oh, something. I'm just multiplying the length of edge length into point four. Maybe you can see the value so that you'll get an idea. So you can see the value. So you can see. So it will reduce and I'm just also I'm also reducing the strength so to 10. So let's open kangaroo. So let's open solver that is kangaroo. So solver, so goal object is to first I need the anchor point. So I'm so solver like this plugin like uh, the kangaroo plugin is like it is a kind of a old script then uh, like the plugin concept in uh, grasshopper is like when you type a script when you do a script you can change it into a simple icon and you can launch it as a plugin so this plugin I'll, uh, it's like, oh, already has all the script so we need to just as like it's kind of a template stuff. So I'm just trying. I'm just giving the uh, four input value and it does the process. So I'm just using the mesh length and length. Okay. So now just hide everything else. So so the length that is the length of this. The cable, I mean, uh, we just use the length so that the load, how the load is being transformed in the length, you can see there is a change in it. And just give it a button to reset it. And maybe Boolean. Toggle. Boolean toggle. So like this one is here uh, like uh, this is a small script so you don't need this kind of boolings and uh, reset stuff. I mean toggle and uh, button but when you go to the longer script the kangaroo like it need uh, you know, it's like when you change here like uh, it is always running so you can turn off the toggle and you can change whatever the value you want according to this. So you can adjust the load according to your wish. Maybe I can I can adjust a load and just restart it. So 
So you need to restart it when you change it again. So this is the major concept. Okay. What I did is like I gave four points as the anchor point, and then I created a mesh around the four point. Then I used a, la a length. I mean, use the line for cable load. I mean, load ca transfer to the cable. And I use the mesh. That's it. So, so this is how the kangaroo pl uh, plugin basic functional. Way. So, if you have any more doubts, like in the basic system, you can ask me in the comment section. So, as I said before, we are planning to have live webinars and like free or obviously it's free, and we are going to also plan to do workshops. Blah blah blah. And with an international crowd, because like I, I don't only focus on India, like I have a lot of people who are asking for the workshops. So I just uh, share you the official link for the workshops, and if you're interested, please subscribe to that. I think so, it will be useful for you guys. And see you on the other brand new video. Have a nice day. See you at the next video.